सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक दिस इज वीरेन कुमार सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लोकेटर्स इन दिस सिलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर इफ यू आर वर्किंग एज ए ऑटोमेशन इंजीनियर और इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू गेट ए जॉब फॉर द ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग देन द इम्पोर्टेंट आइडिया अबाउट द लोकेटर्स इन दिस सिलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर सो इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द लोकेटर्स सो एज ए ऑटोमेशन इंजीनियर्स फर्स्ट वी गेट द एप्लीकेशन which we can call as the application under test suppose this is a facebook.com which is the application which we are going to automate using this linear web driver and this application we call as the application under test on this applications you have different type of the actions like you are going to click on this one you can select this ones you can download the something from the your applications you can upload something from your applications there are multiple web actions on this applications so this is the kind of the one page okay, this is the front page which we call as the login page and on this logins you enter the username password then you click on the login button and if you are going to sign up with the applications you enter all the details then you click on the sign up buttons so the click select upload download these are the web actions for this particular application now as a as software engineer for the automation testing you are writing the selenium code and this code is going to interact with these applications you have written a well defined the selenium script using any programming language and you can use the java perl python php ruby any programming language which is supported by the selenium web driver you have written your script and your script is going to interact with these applications now how this application is going to run by following your script commands so here the major roles played by the locators locators are important to interact with the applications and whatever script we are writing it will tells to the applications to perform all these activities now these activities called as the web actions in test automations the locators play a major role and the locators can run on the different browsers so whatever locators you are writing they should support by the browser sometimes it happen you have written a one locators in the chrome browsers and when you run your applications in the mozilla firefox in edge browser the locators will fail and you will get the null no such element exceptions so how to deal such type of the situations using the different type of the browsers and with the same applications so i'm going to help you to resolve all these issues okay so now let's understand the importance of the locators in the web automations first we should know what are the role of the locators in the web automations so the web automations you can use any tool selenium bdd cucumber cypress playwrights any web automation tool you can use to automate your applications and you can use any programming language java python perl ruby any programming language but the locators strategy will be the same here we are going to understand the importance of the locators so selenium locators can be considered as the building block of any type of the selenium automation test script second the locators in the selenium web driver help you in performing the required interactions with the web element in the dom okay you will understand in the next lectures or in this course what is the dom what is the web elements but whatever available on the web page how you are going to interact with that so selenium web driver will interact with the locators to the applications so locators are very important to interact with your applications third there is the big test suite suppose there is a big test suite to execute you have the 20 test cases which you are going to execute within a same test suite and if you have written the inappropriate locators if your locators your xpath id is are not stable in the selenium web driver then it can lead to a breakdown of the entire test suite so in the middle of the execution your test case can be failed so how to deal with such situations 
So it is important to choose the right locators in this linear web driving for interacting with the web elements. So the solution is that you should know about the locators and the locators are not the small things in the test automations. I'm going to explain each and every things here and you will come to know what are the locators and which locators I need to apply on what conditions. I'm not going to explain only the locators writing the syntax. I'm also going to explain where and what conditions you can go with the what locators. Because we are going to discuss about the advantage and the disadvantage of the each and every locators and after that you will come to know okay this locator is perfect at this time and you can go with that one. Every time writing the xpath is not a good idea. There are other locators that we can use. Now next locators are important in the web automation because they are used to identify and locate the web element on a web page. If you cannot locate the right web element on the web page, you cannot perform the automation testing and every time you will get the no such element exceptions, element not found exceptions and your script will not execute properly. So the locators are very important to identify and to locate the correct web element on the web page. Locators are used by the web automation tools such as the selenium to interact with the web page elements such as the button, text field, links. There are many web actions on the particular web page. So let's consider this is the Facebook login page and you are a automation test engineer and you are going to automate these things. Now let me explain from the manual testing. As a manual tester, what I will do, I will enter the email id and i will enter the password and after that i will click on the login button and i am able to log into the applications this is the manual testing and this is the manual process for the testing these applications but now how this automation testing will help us to reduce the manual work so we are going to write the automation script using the java programming language or the selenium web driver api tool but how the selenium web driver will come to know this is the text box and so for that we need to tell the web driver okay this is the text box where you are not need to enter the text and after that you need to click on the login button so these operations we need to tell to the selenium web driver and how this happen this will happen through the locators okay. Now how to face the locators now, now I'm talking about the web elements so let me give the brief idea about the web elements so just go to this text box right click and then you can see inspect now you can see this is the web element okay input this is the web element we are going to deal with that one and we are going to write the locators so there are different type of the locators that you will understand by this course and this is the complete DOM if I am going to see this is the one the DOM always start from the HTML so this is called the complete DOM in this we have the head and this is we have the body so in the body we have the different type of the web elements so selenium is going to interact with that so this is called the DOM the DOM will help us to interact with the web element for these applications selenium cannot interact with the business logic of the applications whatever business logic is written by the developers using the programming languages high level programming languages selenium is not going to interact with that selenium only interact with the dom so we call as the dom and this is the doc type html and every application have the dom so in the detail we will understand what is the DOM, what is the web elements. If I want to locate this one, so what I will do, I will just right click inspect. Now this, now this is the complete web element. So for writing the locators, you can see first you need to control F, then this box will come. So for that you can write the X path, you can fetch the other locators like I have the ID. I have the name name is the email so if i take the name 
this is the id of this web element i can access this text box okay. so the locators will help to locate the web element on the web page now you can see when i hover on this web element it's going to highlight this one okay so this is the locators this is the basic introduction about the locators and in the next sections we will see what are the web actions okay so before that i request please go and subscribe the channel because i'm going to create the full series or the full course for the web locators and this is going to definitely help you to write the perfect locators for your automation testing okay till then bye bye